Hey there, it's Tammy with It's All About the Dogs and Noelle with Positive Directions Dog Training Academy. Um, we are here today to talk about growth plates and how do I know when my dog is fully grown? Um, it's a big question. You know, I see a lot of people, because I have English setters and, and um, Irish setters, a lot of the people in some of those groups will ask, well, when is my, when can I take my dog running? Mm -hmm. or, um, I love to run with my dog. Can I get you know puppy to go running with? And also another thing is how soon can I have my dog spayed or neutered? Yeah. So. Yeah. So the rule of thumb is that you don't want to do any forced exercise until your dog's fully grown. Well, how do you know? Um, dogs have growth plates, just like little children have growth plates. And until all of those growth plates have sealed, um, the dog has not stopped growing. And until they've stopped growing. It is not safe to do take your dog for a jog, okay? especially for any length of time. The surface that you're um, providing exercise on is also critical. Running through grass or on a sandy beach or um, out in the desert, those are different from running on the sidewalk or asphalt. And what kind of damage can be caused? Obviously that sounds ominous. You can yeah, it, some, it's some pretty, pretty severe, severe, severe and yeah. substantial damage. When a puppy first comes home to you, actually hardly any of their bones touch in their bodies. There's space between them, so it's soft tissue, tendons, and ligaments that are holding that puppy together. The more your dog um, jumps off onto hard or slick surfaces, the more that they pound with those legs, the more damage you're going to do, and it's to the tendons um, and ligaments that that causes the most damage and once those are damaged they don't pop back like they're you know right. like you think they would so um, the reason that Miss Gabby's here is she wanted to show you her growth plate so Gabby's gonna be one year old next month I'm gonna grab the camera and move it so that you can show everyone the growth plates that okay. she has so the growth plates on her front leg are right here and um, you can't see it hi there there, we, there go. we go. So right here is where her growth plate is, and you can see that it kind of sticks out like a bow. Um, go ahead and take it back. The um, that growth plate is very, very evident, but not all growth plates are that it's evident. Right here. It, yeah. So it's right here where that little knobby thing is. Until this is smooth, my dog is not ready to go for um, a jog. Right. Okay. Right. Now they can play in the backyard and they can rough house and they can do um, play where they get to decide when they stop and when they start. That's not a big deal. Unless normal dog stuff. Normal dog stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> yes. I but know. you do still want to be careful with them to not get injured too. Exactly. In scenarios, right? Exactly. Now um, I am not a huge fan of dog parks, but taking your dog to a dog park where there's lots of activity and play can be just as damaging and bad as taking your dog for a long hike mm -hmm. because they're playing with um, age groups that may not be appropriate for them. Sure. And um, they're not going to stop until they are exhausted. Mm -hmm. So it's really a good idea to monitor um, play activity and make sure that they're not getting too much stress or play um, when they're babies. And it's up to you to be their advocate. They don't have a voice and they're gonna go well past when they should. Well, and you have, uh, every Friday, you have a puppy uh, socialization hour where it's age-appropriate puppies with yes. other puppies. Yes. So that it's, it's easy for them to get the right kind of yeah. exercise and appropriate exercise. And it's really interesting. When you come to Yappy Hour, the puppies play for like 10, 15 minutes, and then everybody lays <laughs> down so and they take a rest. <laughs> and then we, <laughs> after about two or three minutes, we're back up and we're wrestling again, and then we take a rest. And so... The dogs take several breaks during um, puppy playtime, and it's important for them to do that because their bodies are still growing and maturing, and we don't want to put any stress on there that could end up being a permanent decision. Now, uh, okay, so how old is Gabby now? Gabby is 11 months old. She'll be 12 months old next month. And when will those growth plates close, typically? On typically on a dog, dog. This size dog, this, this is kind of an odd dog to do this with because she's a dwarf. Um, <laughs> she's awful cute, but though. she's awful cute. Um, typically, it's 18 months to two years before all the growth plates close, and really, the only person in the world who can tell you when all the growth plates have closed is your veterinarian. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, if you're ready to start, 
um, an exercise routine or program with your dog, take your dog to the vet, make sure those growth plates have closed. And once you get the thumbs up from him, then it should be safe to start slowly. And, and why is it important to not have your dog spayed or neutered before those growth plates close? Because I know that's a lot of things. I know as a breeder, you don't want people spaying and neutering your dogs before their growth plates close. I don't. Because? <laughs> this is, a, this is a, a can of worms here. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? People are asking and they yes. want to know. They do. So the sex hormones, the progesterone, estrogen, testosterone, that's what signals growth plate closure. So if you spay or neuter your dog um, at a young age, the growth plates never get the signal because the um, hormones have been removed from the dog's body. Right. And so they will grow disproportionate to what their breed should be. Wow. And um, a lot of people don't know that in the gen general way. No, they don't. don't they don't that. know that. Because I know oh, back in the day, a lot of the rescue groups, and many still probably do, and I'm not slamming rescue groups by any stretch, but they, they spay and neuter the dogs at like five months. Mm -hmm. six months so they'll even do um, infantile young. space and neuters wow. on, on kittens and you know eight week old kittens and um I, I just don't think that we've been doing it long enough to really have a good idea of how much damage we're actually doing but i can totally understand why rescue organizations have to spay sure. and neuter that young because yeah. they're trying to decrease the pet overgrowth population problems so right you know they really don't have much of a choice but if you have a choice, the best option for your dog is to, to speak with your veterinarian mm -hmm. and talk to them about when those growth plates are closed and when it's best or safest to do your spay or neuter. Great. Cool. Awesome. Gotcha. Yes. So if you have any questions, you can always call Noelle. You can always go on her website. Absolutely. Directions Canine Academy. You can check it out. Check anything out on our other videos at Positive Directions or on It's All About the Dogs. Yes. And we will be back next week with some more videos. Beautiful. Thank you guys. Right. Have Tune a in, day. like the button below. Yes, please hit the like <laughs> <laughs> and subscribe to our channel. Absolutely.